We strive for realism. It's very important um, to set the scene, to get everyone's minds um, you know, outside of a video game and into um, that adrenaline that comes with real life, um, with real stakes. Even though the floor is perfectly level and does not move, even I find myself trying to lean against the wave that I see coming. And I think it has to do with how the visual scene and the screens wrap around into your peripherals and you really feel like you're out there. And even though it's just the screens moving and you're staying still, uh, you try to lean with them. We've got 10 knots coming off the starboard bow. Scans, the Ship Control and Navigation Training System. It's the uh, Coast Guard Academy's network of five ship simulators plus 12 other small um, desktop size simulators used to train cadets in how to navigate so, and drive ships. Um, in the simulator, the way to announce that you are ready to get underway is just by announcing the deck and the con. Once you do that, the simulation will start. We take all four classes through our curriculum. So if you are the deck and con, just verify that your whole team is ready. The freshman level, it's really good. fundamental good. Good. in terms good. of okay, this cool. is a chart, this is how you good. plot, this is good. what latitude and longitude is. First class, Albert has the con. That's about that says the deck. Aye. 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 And how to navigate celestially with the stars. Uh, but as they move along the curriculum through sophomore, junior, senior year, um, it gets more and more advanced with putting all the pieces together, um, how to drive a ship, not just in open ocean, but through a busy harbor with a lot of shipping traffic going on, perhaps in the fog or at nighttime, um, and utilizing their whole team to make that a successful voyage. So today's transit is fairly straightforward. This is the first time our seniors are in the simulator this semester. Um, so we're trying to take it a little bit easy on them. Uh, but over the course of this semester, it'll build with more traffic meeting at junction points, very congested. And they're going to have to come up with a plan of how to um, navigate through that and talk to the other vessels. Um, so we have role players on the other end of the radios to uh, be the captains of those other ships so they can call them and talk to them. Bridge, look out. I am the NPC, the video gaming of a non-player character. Look out, go ahead. Bridge, look out. I have a new contact coming outbound. Relative bearing. I am not to actually impose any new out of the bounds of the uh, courseware changes in what happens to them. Grace, this is Coast Guard Cutter Dauntless. Yeah, they're Dauntless, ever Grace, go ahead, over. I'm a Grace, this is Coast Guard Cutter Dauntless. Are we clear to pass port to port? Yeah, yes sir, no problem. Uh, you can see I just turned to stop and get around this boat here. Port to port's okay with me, over. Uh, I'm trying to keep them reined in to uh, meet the objectives of the lesson plan, but because they're humans and it's like herding cats out there, I often have to uh, manage uh, all the ships out there, the communications. I am the person that talks to them. I am, I am the person on every single ship out there and land base that will have this script that communicates with them to try to push them toward the end goal of the training. These academy graduates are going to be expected to do more upon graduation, um, to be ready to take over that watch, to be able to drive those ships, and not require extensive training post-graduation. So it's really essential that they get that foundational building while at the academy.